welcome to Sasa's Kitchen! Today we're going to be baking and I don't do a lot of baking in this kitchen so I invited my sister friend who is an incredible Hi. baker and she's going to be helping us learn how to make some Hasselbeck butternut squash. It's a really good, tasty, delicious, super flavorful meal to serve at your family Christmas gatherings and it's also really healthy. So super cheap also. And with us today we have our trusty videographer, Mr. Frank the Crank Camacho. Yeah. And, and our, our judges. Our, our, our grips over here we have Marcella. Marcella. And Rocky. So what do we do first? First we will peel the squash. Um, it's kind of big. You want to get one that is enough to feed however many people. And then we'll chop it in half, de-seed it, and put it on the tray. <clears throat> okay. Oh, you can okay. use a machete too okay. if you like. You can also microwave your squash to make it easier. Oh I God. didn't tell Sarah that though. <laughs> Two more. Make Three more. There we go. Oh. Now we're going to de-seed it and then we'll peel the outside. Butternut squash is surprisingly easy to work with, even though it is really hard to cut into. And then the nice part is when you cook it, it's just so um, flavorful and it's almost like meat if you're looking for a meat substitute. We're gonna be glazing this squash, so even if you do have a little bit of like skin stuff on it, that's okay, because it's gonna all get cooked really yummy in the oven. Hey! Oh, oh, oh someone's oh, vomiting. Oh, oh no! Wow. Before you put it in the oven, you're supposed yes. to glaze it flavor and what that glaze consists of is two tablespoons of melted butter, butter. two tablespoons of honey or maple syrup but this is maple syrup I'm using maple uh, two minced garlic cloves mm -hmm. uh, and some chili peppers that I got from Pizza Hut and some fresh thyme. There's about like two or three sprigs. The little um, leaves are all yeah, We're only gonna glaze half of the mixture. So you can use a glazing brush mm -hmm. or you can get one of these at Home Depot. A paintbrush. A paintbrush. And it will do the job perfectly. Oh, that's great. Right. Yep, that's good. Perfect. And... Yeah. Okay, so it's been 20 minutes and it's time to pull out the butternut squash to reglaze and for cut. cut. So slice. slice and, and then, then reglaze, yeah. While Sarah's doing that, I have a joke for you guys. Ready? Why do tomorrow men have such broad shoulders and such flat foreheads? Do you know why? No. Why? Because when you ask them something, they go, yeah, I don't know. And when you tell them, they go, oh, I need that. <laughs> oh, that's a good yeah. one, bro. That's a good one, you guys. Okay, so there's a trick here to cutting the squash because you, what you want to do is cut it not all the way through, okay? So careful because it's really hot, okay, guys? And then what we're going to use is our two paint brushes here, uh, glazing brushes like this. Um, it leaves you like a half inch of space at the bottom. Oh, bless you. Don't worry, it didn't get in the glaze. <laughs> and the trick is to make it very thin. Yeah, you want it really thin. Careful. So this time you gotta want to try to get in between which might be a little bit tricky, but that's okay. If it just goes on top, that's okay. It'll get in there. It'll get in there. It'll drip on in. Oh my God, that smells so good. Okay, make sure the kids are next to the oven. That's right, no kids in the oven. <gasps> Guilt free. Merry Christmas. Mom. Merry Christmas and thank you for having us.